so starting with third video of ionicity recall question what is the mechanism of action of rituximab it is a monoclonal antibody that binds with b cells with cd24 antibody so the answer is cd20 monoclonal mechanism of action of rituximab then coming to question number 22 Fullis catheter the size f in the Fullis catheter indicates you can see here is written 16 a for fringe so in this Fullis catheter f denotes external diameter of the tube so it is nothing but external diameter not internal diameter or not length of the catheter or not the volume of the bulb next coming to question number 23 a direct straightforward question sildenafil in erectile dysfunction what is the mechanism of action of sildenafil it inhibits which enzyme sildenafil inhibits as you can see here pde5 or phosphodiesterase 5 enzyme by inhibiting phosphodiesterase enzyme is increase the level of cgmp which reduce the concentration of calcium and followed by smooth muscle relaxation that increase the flow of blood into the penis and that causes erection. So this is the mechanism of action by inhibiting phosphodiesterase enzyme. Sildenafil helps in erection and improvement in the erectile dysfunction disorder. So the answer will be phosphodiesterase PDE5 next coming to question number 24 this kit is used for treatment of which it is the answer will be malaria as you can see here the uh, this kit contain artesunate sulfadoxin pyrimethamine tablet so this kit is used under national disease control program for treatment of malaria next coming to question number 25 cyclooxygenase enzyme have role in which pathway it is definitely a straightforward question prostaglandin pathway as you can see the arachidonic acid pathway from phospholipid by the act of phospholipase A2 the arachidonic acid is produced then by the cyclooxygenase pathway the prostaglandin production occurs and by lipooxygenase pathway leukotrienes are produced so the question is about cyclooxygenase it helps in production of prostaglandin so the answer will be prostaglandin cyclooxygenase enzyme coming to question number 26 which drug is to be avoided in g6pd deficiency as all of you know primaquine can cause hemolysis in g6pd deficiency so this drug to be avoided next coming to question number 27 finasteride mechanism of action finasteride mechanism of action is 5 alpha reductase inhibitor as you can see here finasteride this drug finasteride inhibit the enzyme 5 alpha reductase by inhibiting this 5 alpha reductase it decrease the level of active form of testosterone that is dihydrotestosterone and it decrease benign prostatic hyperplasia so this is the mechanism of action it inhibits 5 alpha reductase and decrease the level of dry hydrotestosterone active form of testosterone next coming to question number 28 methyl poisoning causes which form of disorder will find you which metabolic abnormality you can find in case of methanol poisoning that is nothing but hagma or high anion gap metabolic acidosis so this is the answer as all of you know the popular mnemonic for high anion gap metabolic acidosis as is mud piles m for methanol poisoning e for uremia t for diabetic ketoacidosis p for propylene glycol poisoning i for isoniazid toxicity l for lactic acidosis e for ethylene glycol poisoning and s for salicylate poisoning Next coming to question number 29. This formula is used to calculate. This is the popular formula. All of you know this is the formula for calculating standard deviation. Coming to question number 30. Lithium therapeutic level in mania is it is 0.6 to 1.5 milli equivalent per liter. So this is all about question number 21 to 30. In the next set of question we are going to discuss question number 31 to 40. So don't forget to subscribe the channel Dr. Shankar De. Thank you very much.